let us have a discussion on methods of integration methods of integration methods of integration so methods of integration means in differentiation actually we have so many formulae to find out the derivatives of the functions but whereas in integrals we have the methods of integration the first one is substitution substitution that is substitution method second one is integration by parts integration by parts next third one is successive reduction successive reduction so let us discuss first method of substitution so method of substitution here suppose let d by dx of f of x b f dash x consider this one let so now first show that integral f of x all to the power of n into f dash x dx is equal to f of x all to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. Let us prove it. To prove this one, here proof follows like this. Let us introduce this function f of x is equal to something say t. Differentiate with respect to x. So, we get dt by dx is equal to already we have discussed derivative of f of x is f dash x. So, dt is equal to f dash x dx. Now, this integral can be written i is equal to integral t power n whereas, this one this is f dash x dx is dt this is nothing but x to the power of n formula. This is t power n plus 1 by n plus 1. What is t? t is nothing but f of x. So, f of x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant of integration where n does not equal to 1 minus 1. n does not equal to minus 1. Now, next one show that integral root f of x into f dash x dx is equal to 2 f of x root f of x by 3 plus c. Let us prove it. Let this f of x is equal to say t differentiate with respect to x dt by dx is equal to f dash x. So, dt is equal to f dash x dx. Now, this integral we write integral root t dt root t dt is 2 t root t by 3 t is nothing but f of x so 2 by 3 f of x root f of x plus constant of integration now
show that show that integral f dash x by root f of x dx is equal to 2 root f of x plus c 2 root f of x plus c here through let f of x is equal to t dt by dx is equal to f dash x now dt is equal to f dash x dx now this can be written integral f dash x dx is dt 1 by root t dt see 1 by root x is 2 root x so 2 root t t is nothing but f of x 2 root f of x plus constant of integration now let us show show that integral f dash x by f of x dx is equal to log mod f of x plus c. Now, through let this f of x is equal to t dt by dx is equal to f dash x dt is equal to f dash x dx now this can be written integral 1 by t dt this is log mod t so log mod of f of x plus constant of integration Now, standard integrals, standard integrals. First one, show that integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x by a plus c. Let us prove it. Sin inverse x by a plus c. Here prove let x is equal to a sin theta differentiate with respect to theta dx by d theta equals to a constant sin theta differentiation is cos theta so dx is equal to a cos theta d theta now i is equal to here integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx. Now, we have to replace dx and this x value here. Now, this is equal to root of integral a square minus a square sin square theta, whereas dx is equal to a cos theta d theta. Now, integral 1 by root of a square minus a square sin square theta, a square common, we have 1 minus sin square theta and a cos theta d, d theta. So, integral 1 by root of 
1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos square theta. So, a square cos square theta into a cos theta d theta. So, this is integral 1 by a cos theta into a cos theta d theta. a cos theta, a cos theta cancel, we have integral d theta. Integral d theta means that equal to theta. Here you observe one thing, here sin theta is equal to we have x by a. From inverse trigonometric function theta is equal to sin inverse x by a. So, now theta is replaced by sin inverse x by a plus constant of integration. Therefore, integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x by a plus c. 